Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. Special sitting of the Parliament of Western Armenia will take place today. Artsakh shoots down a Su-25 attack aircraft amid renewed Azerbaijani attacks. Russian Defense Minister holds phone talks with Azerbaijan and Armenian counterparts. Turkey sends hundreds of Syrian mercenaries against Artsakh, the Wall Street Journal. Azerbaijan and Turkey are preparing to destabilize the situation in Iran. World Monument Fund condemns targeting of Hazan Chetsos Cathedral in Shushi, Artsakh. The second gold reserve found in Karin. The special sitting of the Parliament of Western Armenia will take place on October 14. The main issue of the sitting is the situation in Artsakh. The sittings of the Parliament of the Republic of Western Armenia take place every Thursday, but due to the situation special sittings are held. It should be reminded that the number of members of the Parliament are in Artsakh. That is why the number of participants is not complete. The Air Defense Forces of the Artsakh Defense Army have shot down an Azerbaijani Su-25 attack aircraft that was deployed by the Azeri military in the ongoing offensive on Artsakh, Defense Ministry spokesperson Shushan Stepanyan mentioned. Despite the agreement of October 10 on cessation of the hostilities for humanitarian purposes, the Azerbaijani armed forces have ignored the truce and launched renewed attacks on Artsakh from all directions. The enemy has more than 5,489 victims. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu held telephone conversation with Defense Minister of Armenia David Donoyan and Azerbaijani Defense Minister Zakir Hasanov. During the phone talks, the Russian Defense Minister called on to fully implement the obligations assumed by the sides in Moscow on cessation of hostilities. During the talks, Sergei Shoigu called on his counterparts to fully implement the obligations of the Azerbaijani and the Armenian sides in accordance with the agreement reached in Moscow on October 10. The statement of the Defense Ministry says. Hundreds of Turkey-backed Syrian militants have moved to the conflict zone. This was reported by the Wall Street Journal, citing its source in Syria. Hundreds of Syrian militants bolstered by Turkey have joined the fighting. Hundreds of people are preparing to be sent. Two sources involved in the transfer of militants to Syria told the journal. Rumors that Turkey is recruiting militants spread after clashes broke out in the region again in July, sources said. According to one of the journal's interlocutors, the militants have been sent to the conflict zone since the mid-September in groups of hundreds. Another Syrian link to the rebels confirmed that the hundreds of people were transferred to the region, but dozens have already returned worried about the forest fighting. Mercenaries receive up to $2,000 a month to take part in the fighting, one of the rebels told the publication. The Azerbaijan-Turkey terrorist alliance is taking active steps toward the future destabilization of the situation in Iran, Artsakh President's advisor David Babayan told News.am. One of the main goals of the alliance is to take control of an important strategic facility, a reservoir on the Arax River, built with the help of Iranian side, he said. It was mainly used for the needs of Iran. We see the most serious environmental problems in Iran, the negative dynamics of the decreasing water resources in the northern regions. According to him now, the Turkish-Azerbaijani terrorist alliance aims to deprive Iran of its important source of water. They cannot break through the front line, but we know that this is one of the main goals to subdue Iran, its economy and ecology. This in turn will lead to serious social upheavals in the country, said Babayan. Another direction is that many militants from Syria, Libya, Iraq, deployed by Turkey to the region, are deployed on the border with Iran. It is possible that there will be serious attempts to infiltrate these militants into Iranian territory. As was the case with the North Caucasus literally the day before it became known about the penetration of militants into Chechnya. Besides, it is possible that the Azerbaijani side together with the Turks and terrorists will try to poison the water resources of Iran. The World Monument Fund expressed this concern after the learning the news that Holy Savior Cathedral in the town of Shushi Artsakh has suffered as a result of the Azerbaijani attack. World Monument Fund considers absolutely unacceptable any willful destruction of culture or heritage. Through our work around the world, we have seen how the destruction of cultural heritage harms both local and global communities, forever erasing our ties to the past and wounding the identity of countless groups. Therefore, we ask all parties for restraint and to abstain from targeting any cultural heritage sites, the fund mentioned in the statement. Gold and silver reserves are discovered in an area of 150 hectares in the Garden province of Western Armenia. The Garden Erzurum Mountains can be called guilty due to the gold reserves found in Garachoban after the gold reserves found near the district. Now let us represent to your attention a song Suluhi Karaviyerka. <laughs> Oh, 
Find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.